lazy person to do hard work because lazy person find easy way to do it. The great line riddle man feel kids. So nowadays people become smart using smart appliances like smartphones, watch, smart watch, laptop. So uh, every, everybody becomes smart. So our topic is basically related to this one. So I am truly excited to stand for all of you. As today, as we embark on the fascinating journey, fascinating world of IoT, means Internet of Things, myself, Vaishnavi Bhatti, and this is my team, Chandan, Nejas, and Vikas. We are presenting Dr. J.J. Mahmood Engineering College. And next 15 minutes, we explore the transformative power of IoT and technological revolution that is reshaping the way we live, work, and connect with our world. So, IoT is a powerful moment in the field of technology where everyday objects become smart and interconnected with uh, everything and capable to collect and extend data like that. Whether it is your home, your car, or your city. IoT preventing us our life or offering us precedent, unprecedented convenience and insights. During our session, we will discuss about during our session we will discuss about what is IoT, history of IoT, works and applications, current status, technological challenges, and the world without IoT. So without any let Let's start into the exciting exploration of IoT and how it discovers our our world in remarkable way. So let's start. So now let's see the history of IoT. Now let's see about what is Internet of Things in very really basic words. Basically, the Internet of Things describes the devices with sensors, processing ability, software, and other technologies. The smart devices that you use in your daily life, such as your Bluetooth headphones, smart watches you are wearing, which exchange the data in real time, collect and exchange data. So these devices come under the Internet of Things. IoT. Uh, IoT. IoT is referred as the Internet of the Things. IoT is a concept that revolutions the way we interact the physical world. It involves the integration of physical, physical devices, sensors, and software to uh, to convert to enable them to impact and share data. How IoT how IoT works? Sensors and data connection. The foundation of IoT lies in a sensors and actuator. The sensors such as the temperature sensor, humidity sensors, and cameras are embedded in the object to the actuators like the motor and switches. These are actuators like the upper data connection. Second one is the connectivity. The IoT uh, devices are going to be internet through various means uh, Wi Fi, cellular network, and IP band. IP band means low power wide area network. These are currently allows to transmit the cloud process. Third one is the data processing. 
in the cloud or in the edge, data from IoT is a procedure in the form of data analytics, machine learning, and other computational techniques to derive meaningful insight from the project information for some action and feedback. Once the data is a procedure, IoT can be transferred in a previous version like a smart thermostat. Smart thermostat can measure temperature during a weather forecast, smart irrigation system can User can use water when a soil is dry. User can do external feedback during during IoT devices in app or web devices. Let me discuss application of IoT. IoT is smart smart homes. IoT has a transfer the way during the during the smart smart homes like a like a smart thermostat driving system and and various home devices in a voice assistant like a Google, Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home Assistant in a Various use in a daily life and use our energy. Use our energy. Second one is second, IoT with healthcare. IoT plays a vital role in a, uh, in a remote pattern monitoring wearable devices, uh, devices uh, in, a, uh, in devices like a, uh, like a um, fitness tracker and smart watches. And th this technique is very, very useful uh, used to use to in the telemedicine and Third one is uh, IoT based smart cities and industries. Uh, in in very really, very smart cities, the very smart city, IoT IoT can uh, IoT can very slow because uh, because uh, because our our future future has developed uh, in very like, uh, smart cities like uh, intelligent traffic, intelligent traffic, uh, smart roads, smart roads, smart security cameras are are developing mission in IoT based smart uh, smart cities are used. And last last one is industries. Uh, in, a, in a IoT uh, in a sector, IoT sector, it increases increase downtime and increase uh, productivity. So that's my point. Thank you. So now we have discussed the work and applications of IoT. So we have come to know about the importance of IoT and in which devices it is used. But now let's discuss about the world without IoT. Which we have come to know about the importance of IoT, we use it in various devices. But what will happen if we don't have IoT? Now let's imagine the world where you don't have to buy these devices, like buy this keyboard and mouse, uh, or any other wireless devices that you use in your daily life. So what will happen then? If there was no IoT, we will shift to manual dependency on some things. Now let's take a very simple example. If you take your mobile, you can just say hey Siri or OK Google to access, uh, uh, to know about the weather reports, to know the time. So we have to shift the manual dependency on such simple things. Because if you are a, a good Android user or iPhone user, you may have the habit of asking uh, your <coughs> assistant about the weather or news in the morning. So you have to shift to manual dependency on that simple things. We will not have remote operating devices. Now the devices which, uh, which work wirelessly like your remotes, they will not work if there was no IoT. Direct approach to health and fitness. As they just mentioned previously, that we are using the fitness trackers to uh, measure our distance, means how much we have exercised, how much calories we have burned, what's our heart rate, what is our SPO2 rate. So we have to shift uh, direct approach. You know, Previously, we were going to hospitals to check what is our heart rate, what is our blood pressure. So now, if there was no IoT, we would not have uh, any smart devices or to check out that things. No security over Wi-Fi. Now, currently, the CCTVs are running over the Wi-Fi. So we can see what's going uh, over that CCTV in our mobile phones. And we can access that from over uh, thousands of kilometer distance. So, uh, in important places, uh, many people use that thing. Then if there was no IoT, we will have no security over Wi-Fi. Then we will not get any real-time data over the CCT to our mobile phones. Transportation and travel. So this is one more beautiful concept. In previous days, if we lost our road while we are driving in car or on bike, we used to ask people that used to increase the communication between us and the people. Nowadays, we are using Google Maps or any other uh, applications to um, go to our specific destinations. That has reduced communication between people to some extent. So, this will happen. Business monitoring. In business, 
the real time data is exchanged and the values are exchanged in real time over the internet. If it, is, it was model, they have to shift to the manuality, means they have to print the data and um, ask someone to send that in. So, Internet of Things has made this process a little bit faster. If there was no IoT, this process would take some time. Learning and entertainment. Nowadays, learning and entertainment over the internet has become an important part in our life. We are using various OTT apps like Netflix, Prime Video to access the, uh, the entertainment of series that we need. If there was no IoT, basically learning and entertainment would not be there. If we have any OTT platform without internet, then personalization would lack. We are preferring the shows which are personalized to us, which are personalized to our preferences. If there was no IoT, we would lack that things. And these were the basic things that we would lack if there was no IoT. So, we were the team JJM COE and thank you.